Hello again, everybody. Today I'm going to show you another easy self-working card trick. This one is card trick video of the day today on my website, thecardtrickteacher.com. It's also another trick by 1974 Caddy. This is the second week in a row that he has card trick video of the day. You guys should check out and subscribe to his channel because he's uploading these really cool self-working card tricks that I've never seen before. So, I'm going to show you the performance and tutorial for this card trick. What you're going to do is you're going to tell a spectator they can cut the cards as many times as they like. And when they're done cutting the cards, you say, all right, now let me take the deck. Oops, I forgot. I have to remove the Joker, uh, Joker from the deck. Let's get rid of the Joker. And what I'd like you to do now is divide the deck into three equal sections. So take about a third of the cards here, about a third of the cards here, and about a third of the cards here. Now, from this pile here, I'd like you just to select any card that you want. So just pick a card. So let's say the spectator chooses this card right over here, and they look at it, and it's the King of Clubs. Set the card down. You don't know what the card is, but now you say, okay, now you had a free choice. You selected what card you'd like. Now there's your card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my back. I'd like you to pick up this first pile and deal down the value of this card. So if if it's a jack, it's 11. If it's a queen, it's 12. If it's a king, it's 13. After you deal down the value, if it's 5, you deal down 5. Then place one card on the second pile, one card on the third pile, and the remaining cards back on top of the first pile. So go ahead and do that. So the spectator now will deal down, because it's a king, they'll deal down 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One card here, one card here, and whatever is left goes right back on top. You turn around, you say, okay, you're done, they're done. You say, okay, now do the sec same thing with the second pile. So they're going to deal down one, two, three, four, five. They could do this very quietly so you can hear, but it really doesn't matter. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Place one card on this pile, one card on this pile, and the remaining cards go right back on the second pile. And now you do the same thing with the third pile. Deal down the value of the card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One card here, one card here, and the remaining cards back on the first pile or the third pile. Okay, so now you say to the spectator, you had a free choice to select whatever card you wanted. I turned my back, you dealt down, you put cards on top of the piles. Let's see what card you selected. They show you it's the King of Clubs, and you have them turn over the top card of each one of these piles to find out that they've stopped at all four kings. So this is a very easy self-working card trick called 5-9 King. And you really don't want to tell the spectator the name of the trick because that could give away the card you're going to force on them. So what you want to do for this trick, the setup is this. You want to remove the four fives, the four nines, and the four kings. Then you want to take three random cards and a joker. So we're going to place the joker on the top of the deck, then three random cards. Then we're going to go with four fives, four nines, and four kings. So now the fifth through the seventeenth card are force cards. So just for the purposes of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn over the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's the 5th through 16th card, our uh, force cards. So I'm going to keep those cards face up. So what you do when you start the trick is you have the spectator cut the cards, and this is if you don't want to do any fancy false cuts or you don't you cannot do that and you just want to do a nice simple card trick after the spectator is done cutting you say let me just find the joker I forgot to remove it so you're gonna look through the cards and you don't want the spectator to see and you're gonna pull a joker out and right where you pull a joker out you're going to move the rest of the cards to the top so now you remove the joker and what you've done now is you've got your three uh, uh, random cards on top of your uh, 12 force cards so you tell the spectator they can divide the deck into three equal sections. So they go a third, a third, and a third. And you do exactly what I just did, and it will work every time. You tell them to choose a card from this pile. So now we need them to choose one of those cards. So we try and tighten up on the first few cards and tighten up on the, the last two cards, or however many you're left with. Say, I'd like you to pick a card in the middle. If they're trying to be wise guys and they want to pick the top two cards, say, that's not the middle. You've got all these cards to choose from. Just select any one. So let's just 
say for the purposes of the tutorial here, we'll choose the five. Now you turn around, you say to the spectator, you're looking at your card. I don't know what your card is. What I'd like you to do is I'm going to turn my back. You're going to deal down the value of the card, place one card here, one card here, and the remainder of the pack right on top of the first pile. So they quietly deal down five cards, place one card here, one card here, and the remainder right up back, back on top. You tell them to do, net, do, do this again with the second pile. So they deal down one, two, three, four, five. Put one card here, one card here, and the rest of the cards on top. And finally, you tell them to do it with the third pile. So they deal down one, two, three, four, five. One card here, one card here, and the rest of the pack on top. And just like it worked with the kings, you now say to them you had a free choice. And you turn over their card, or they reveal their card as a five. And you show them that they landed on the other three fives. So that's it. I think it's an amazing self-working card trick. It doesn't require any skill and it will fascinate people. Thank you once again 1974 Caddy. That's it. I'll see you next time.